Okay, so we are going to make this dining room table. It's going to be made out of 100% poplar. Uh, we are going to take some pictures with it all natural, with just some mineral oil, and then we will paint the frame black and stain the top a special one. So first we will start milling up uh, some of this rough um, poplar wood. So here I'm just looking to see how straight this wood is, which is, it's not horrible, but it's definitely not straight. So we're going to run us to the jointer and planer. And not that bad. Right there a little bit. So the edges are a little better, not perfect yet, but uh, the face still needs to be uh, jointed pretty good and plain. I have one straight edge and the face is pretty straight. We are going to cut the other edge with the table saw. straight edge so the, the rough width and height we're gonna plane these all down to level and then we'll laminate them now it's time to start uh, mowing up the frame pieces Okay, so now it's the next day, and I'm going to start cutting up the pieces for the top so we can laminate the top while we build the frame. Okay, so now it's the next day, and we're going to start cutting the wood up for the top, and we will laminate that before we start building the frame. Here, I jump back to the milling up the frame pieces and we are just cut these up kind of width. Okay, so now I'm back onto the top and we're going to uh, face joint these and go in the all circle straight edge. As you see the pattern's the same. We are just going to cut the length, then joint a face and an edge. I also went to the planer and table saw. It's going the same pattern. Henry, you want to come in? You going to be the shop dog or you going to sit outside? Okay. Hey. 
Okay, so here we're going to laminate the top with some glue and uh, some parallel cabinet clamps. I do normally use uh, biscuits also, but I actually didn't realize I ran out of biscuits on my last project. So I think the glue should be good. And I've done plenty of tops with just glue and never had an issue. Okay, since I am not going to be using biscuits, I have to be extra careful here to apply even pressure and also make sure that the calls are good and make sure everything's nice and level. Also fill in any gaps or imperfections with some glue and salt dust from previous cuts. Now yeah, back to the frame pieces. Just going to wrap a little shank on each edge that will be exposed. Okay, so even though I'm using a domino joiner, this is a real crucial part of this build. This is where you have to make sure all your markings are exact, uh, so you have no uh, gaps when you do your final assembly. This needs to be perfect. So first I start with the frame edges uh, end grain. Now I'm going to start marking up the legs and I'm going to put this little uh, bracket adjustment on the domino to help me do a plunge uh, uh, mortise. Also on these you'll notice um, I will adjust the domino to be a little bit of a, of a wider uh, mortise cut so I have a little more room to play with when I install. I first do a dry fit and then I put the side um, stretchers attached to the legs and then we will start to do a glue up in the final assembly, build up like a puzzle. Here I'm going to make a mistake. I'm finding the center on the top apron pieces and I'm going to drill a domino a mortise through, but my domino is set too deep and I drill through the frame. So I had to plug this up later. I don't know if I videoed that part, but uh, you'll see when I finish it, um, I had to plug it up and scratch this idea and use pocket holes instead. Okay, so while those uh, side stretchers and legs are uh, laminating and drying and clamps I'm going to get back to the top and start cutting the final length and start cleaning the top up so this 
process includes uh, belt sanding with an 80 foot, and then I will do a portable sander with an 80 foot, and then go to 120. Here I'm just searching for any gaps or imperfections before I um, fill them in with some more glue and sawdust, and also I will use some epoxy for some knots. Like I said, I'm going to use some epoxy to fill some of the knots and any imperfections. And I'm also going to use a little black uh, resin powder just to make it look uh, nice and fill those holes in. Like I said, I'm going to use some, this epoxy with the black resin to fill in these knots and holes. And I'm going to use a heat gun to get rid of any bubbles. And I'm going to let this sit for a day or two. Uh, let this um, dry up correctly. Okay, so now back to my mistake earlier. See, I'm plugging this hole with a domino, and I'm going to mix it with some glue and sawdust to really fill this in. At the end, you won't even notice it. It's there. Also, like I mentioned earlier, I've had to scratch that idea. Since my dominoes are too big for the frame, I'm going to use pocket holes and screws for this instead, for the center uh, frame bracket. Okay, so here we are going to do the final assembly for the frame. Uh, this will be the final glue up to this stretchers and the aprons to the legs. And we're just going to use the dominoes and some glue and big clamps to keep it tight. As you see here, I'm showing uh, my mistake with the one domino, um, and you can barely see it now. On the out, on the outside, you can't see it at all. Once once I paint it and primer, uh, you will not see it at all, and you'll see it at the end. You can't even find it. I couldn't find it at the end, so I had to plug this up, and I'm just re-showing this this error. Back to cleaning up the top. Just run a quick chamfer on each edge of the tabletop. I just like to throw a little mineral oil on the top, give it a, like a natural, darkish look before I have to stain this later. Here 
I'm just milling up some corner brackets for the frame. the drill press I just want a quick counter sink with each hole. Okay, so next I'm going to put some level feet on the bottom. So what I do is I mark out the center, uh, drill a pilot hole and countersink, and then I will um, do a, a one inch Forstner bit so I can hide those feet if need be. Just makes it look a lot cleaner. So I'm just going to show some pictures up the table before I paint and stain this. I uh, just want to show how it looks natural with the top. So I brought it in the house, took some pictures to see which one I like better, but I think they both look good. Now it's time to uh, primer and paint this frame. I'm going to primer it with some gray, um, and then I'm going to paint it black, but I'm going to roll the paint after I spray the primer. And the top will be a uh, special walnut I'm just going to rub on. I'll also do a light sanding in between each coat of primer. Also note this is a flat black uh, paint that the client wanted. Now here I use the biscuit joiner to cut the slots for the tabletop fasteners. You can also use a router or the table saw to achieve this.
Okay, so this project's pretty much done. I'm going to install the top at the client's residence uh, when I deliver. It makes it easier. Um, I'm just kind of curious if anybody watched this video. Uh, which one you like better, the, the paint it and stain or the all natural? Uh, I kind of like both, but I kind of do like the, the, the paint. That black matte looks pretty good with the special walnut, which they don't really do much of a change to the poplar top. It kind of looks natural still, but it looks good. And this project's done. Like and subscribe if you like or comment. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.